Yep. Hello and welcome back. You know what? Uh, we are doing under the live session because I've been talking to friends at Discord right now. We are doing the simulcast through a Discord channel. And one of my uh, friends informed me that, Hoon, you got to check out the Uni filter, okay? The Uni filter from Weber Workshop. You know, let me show you, okay? I'm going to flip the camera around so you, you guys are going to see what I'm seeing. This is pretty, yeah, this is pretty fantastic. Hold on a second, here we go. That, that's it, there we go. Okay, so this is the Weber's page here. About 100 years, the basic construction of port filter has remained the same. And we decide to change that. So, they come up with this new design, okay? As you can see, a new design right there. So that's actually paper. It's called uh, EPF. Let's see here. That stands for Espresso Paper Filter. Fancy name. I love the name there because guess what? I've been using this paper for last couple of years. So that's not some, That's not new. Okay. Uh, that's not. I'm not surprised with that. But I'm very intrigued by. Hopefully, yeah. This is it, guys. Check this out. So this is all the uni body style. It's one piece. Okay, it has a Weber logo right there. It looks beautiful. Beautifully construct. Hold on, that's it. That's the picture wise. Only two photos there. It's all uni body. Hold on, maybe. Let's scroll through. Uh, spec design. And I believe this is compatible. Hold on a second. Let, let's go through their website. Okay, hold on a second here. Uh, I want to see the compatibility. Here we go. Compatibility. Uh, compatibility is, hold on. So this one compatible to uh, fits, 50, uh, fits all stand, uh, standard 50 millimeter port filter. Uh, La Marzacco, Slayer, Sinoso. Uh, also, E61 group head as well. Okay. And they also fit any decent the Express Machine model. Looks pretty good. But the one thing I was really surprised. Hold on. So, the handle, including package, Unifilter with KFM motor. Okay, handle. The, I was shocked with sold out though, okay, sold out $365 for US dollars. I mean, the reason why I was pretty shocked because you are kind of like stuck with one filter style, one filter, that's it. I mean, most bottomless poly filter with the 58 millimeter, you have a, a lot of options. So this one uh, happened to be the IMS. You have an option for VST. I believe a couple other uh, makers out there makes different types of uh, filter baskets. But if you buy the uni body, you're stuck with the one, okay? I mean, the reason why I say it's a little ridiculous because what if you change to, you have no option to change it, all right? By the way, uh, if, if, if you try that uh, uh, filter basket before, let me know in the comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that because I'm very curious though. Even though this is ridiculously expensive, $365, the US dollars. I mean, if I have opportunity, I love to try that. Okay, I do love to try, but it comes to buying one, man, I don't know. By the way, I mean, if you have the money, you guys buy this uh, port filter, let me know in the comment section as well, because I'm intrigued though. Okay, I'm very intrigued. It, it is pricey, but man, Boy, I mean, goodness, what next, guys? Okay, what's next? Somehow, Weber pulled it up, okay? Pulled it up by basic port filter and then make that really, really premium. I think, that I heard that the Weber, uh, I think that Weber, the Weber is the person that used to work for Apple, I believe. Think of it as like Apple of coffee, specialty coffee. 
man. Anyway, uh, uh, I'd love to hear from your thoughts on it. If you tried this uh, port filter before, I think that just came out though. But man, sold out just like that. So love to your thoughts. Uh, we have uh, you got the ML. I cannot pronounce your name, but am I getting one for demo for us? Uh, no. I, I don't think, yeah. Yeah, I'm not getting any time soon, folks. Okay. It'd be nice to, I mean, but I do want to love to see it though. I, I do want to love to see it in action. Okay. Love to see it in action there, but man, $385. You can get a nice uh, espresso machine. Let's see, $385. Uh, you can get a nice uh, Gaza Classic Pro. You can get one for about 400 bucks. Yeah, pretty close. Pretty close to it. So you can get a machine for one port filter. Okay. One port filter there. So. Okay, so, so shout out to BT Espresso. Sounds like uh, Koreans there. Live. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great Friday afternoon. Uh, we're going to be back again uh, first thing tomorrow morning. You know, let's talk about some more interesting stuff because right now we've got the, the Boston has Coffee Expo is going on right now as we speak. So uh, they look like they have some very interesting uh, coffee gears coming out there. So hopefully I can find some more, more news for you guys. Any interesting stuff? Okay, so we got Diamond ask, how long have you been live? It's been one last couple of minutes. So, I mean, we go live, you know, pretty much minimum once a day, okay? We just kick back, talk about cough coffee, talk about coffee, and uh, some days like two, maybe three like today. Shout out to Sean. He said, good morning. I think Sean is in Australia, I think. Okay. All right, see you guys tomorrow.